very much for this uh, very inspiring and encouraging work, because it's very rare when we are really encouraged. We are discouraged all the time. But when I come here, and that's why I come here, I leave Cairo, I am very discouraged in Egypt and in many places. When I come here with women and men, because I see quite a lot of men here, <laughs> so uh, we do not divide people by uh, their genital organs. <laughs> <laughs> we divide people by their mind, how they think. And what struggle. <laughs> so I'm happy that I'm seeing men and women here of different countries, different uh, uh, generations. And it's very, very, and now next year I will be 80 years, 80 of age. <laughs> age in Egypt is 65, so I, I, I am over living. <laughs> but I'm happy that I'm still healthy, I feel young, and I feel younger and younger with people who, like you, like you. So we are living in one world, not three worlds. I am very much against the word third world. It's an insult to me. When somebody say you are from the third world, this is insult. Who is the first world? George Bush, America, who invaded invade this country. I mean the government, not the American people. The American people like the Egyptian people, like the Swedish people, very nice people. The problem is with our governments. So, I am very much against third world. We, are, we live in one world. There's nothing called first and second. One word, dominated by the same system, the same global and local system, the patriarchal, capitalist, neo-colonial, religious, fundamentalists, military system that we fight together. So we have one enemy together, and that's why we need to fight together. I believe in global struggle and local struggle. We cannot separate between global struggle and local struggle. They are one. Now we use the word local. Local means global and local. I am also against the word Middle East. And usually I repeat that. We are not Middle East. Middle to who? Because we were named the Middle East in Egypt by the British. So we were Middle relative to London and India. And India was Far East relative to England, because India was also colonized. So we should not use a colonial language to describe ourselves. We have to create our name and to change the language. Now I make a joke. When I go to England, I say I'm going to the Middle West. <laughs> <laughs> When I go to the United States, I say I am going, I am going to the far west, and people laugh. And when people laugh, they start to know that this language is wrong, because laughing is important. You know, laughing, laughing and crying. You know, every day before I sleep, I laugh for 15 minutes and I cry for 15 minutes. <laughs> this is good for the health. This is good for. Also, I don't like the word post-colonial. What do you mean by post-colonial? You know, they say I am a post-colonial writer from Africa. What's that? We are in the colonial, in the most ferocious colonial, neo-colonial world. And we have to be aware that colonialism is not finished. We are not post-colonial. No. We are still in the very colonial period. And from here I come to women issues. Women issues are not separate from global issues. When I speak about female genital mutilation, I connect it to George Bush. So usually I say, what is the relationship between George Bush policies in Egypt and the rising of female genital mutilation in Egypt and the veiling of women? Because you have to connect the veiling of women with female genital, all types 
of oppression of women are connected. And these are connected with their colonial powers and with militarism and everything. So those women, feminists, who speak about female genital mutilation separate from neocolonialism and capitalism and fundamentalism and all that, they make a very big mistake because they make people blind to the connection between sexual issues and global political issues and economic issues and social issues and religious issues. So we need to make the linkage all the time. Um, also, the word democracy. You know, we are deceived by democracy everywhere. Uh, now the U.S. interfered in Iraq under democracy. They are killing people under democracy. So we have to be careful about these words and to know how we are deceived by very good, innocent words. Democracy, peace. There is no peace without justice at all. That's why no peace in Palestine unless you have justice. There is no democracy without justice. No democracy without women. Women are half the society. More than half the society. Can you have democracy without half the society? So you cannot have democracy, real democracy, in a capitalist, imperialist, neo-colonial, military country. I lived in the United States. I didn't find democracy. I am censored in the United States. So we have to be careful about those words. And now they have a new word called interdependence, interdependent partnership. You know, America come to Egypt and exploit us economically, and people become poorer and poorer under the word partnership. But we are not partners, partners, real partners. They are the colonizers, and we are the colonizers. It's like in the home, when my husband comes and says, I'm your partner, and he is my master. You know, so we have to be careful about this very beautiful words, cooperation, partnership, interested, interested, and so on, all that. So we need to analyze all that. Um, I want to speak about religions in this very short, because I have to be strict 10 minutes, not more than that. So religions, religions very deceitful. We should not deceive, be deceived by any religion. I am a medical doctor. I, I gave 10 years of my life studying religions. I even went to India. But I concentrated on the three holy books. The Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Quran. The three monotheistic major religions. And what I discovered after studying, very dangerous books. Uh, many people will attack me and say I'm an atheist, etc. I don't care. My life, I am on the death list. I am ready to die to speak what I learn now. Because knowledge is irreversible. And I spent 10 years studying religion because I am oppressed by religions. I'm not oppressed only by Islam. I am oppressed by Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and Buddhism, and Hinduism, and everything. Because we live in one world, you know, and fundamentalism is not just a specific phenomenon of Islam. We, there is Christian fundamentalist movement, very big, Jew-Christian fundamentalist movement in the United States. The, Israel is a Jewish state, a racist Jewish state against women. Iran and, uh, and, and Saudi Arabia, the Islamic states oppressing women and the poor. So we, we have to understand the problem of religions and the problem of fundamentalism. It's a political movement. Ben Laden and George Bush are twins. Sadat and Reagan are twins. Since the 70s in Egypt, you know, I was, when I was a child, when I was a student in the medical school during the 50s, 50 years ago or more, there was not a male woman. Uh, I went to, to the medical, medical college with a co-education. There was nobody asked me, what's your religion? But now in Egypt, after Sadat and Reagan and the Americanization of Egypt, we became, a, we became now an American colony. Now you have religion, you have Christian fundamentalism in Egypt, you have Islamic fundamentalism and Jewish, and they want to divide Egypt according to religion. 
between Christians and Muslims and Jews and Baha'i and other religions. And under the so-called religious freedoms, they divide us. So we have to be careful about beautiful words. Religious freedoms, diversity, plurality, you know, cultural relativism, and all that authentic identity. They oppress us by the word identity. And we have to be careful. Because under the word identity, they divide us. Who are you? Everywhere I go, they tell me, who are you? Who are you? So they divide us by nationality, by, by religion, by even by gender. They divide us. But here we have men. So we have to be careful. Divide and rule is the philosophy of anybody who wants to exploit us. And it started centuries ago, since the slave system. We are divided. So we have to be careful. I would like to end. How many minutes I've been talking now? Yeah. 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 Yeah.